In this video, I will be talking about who and why Christine de Pisson is important during the medieval times. Christine de Pisson was born in Venice, Italy in September 11, 1364, and died in the year of 1430 in Poissy, France. She was an Italian and French author. Christine de Pisson was and is remembered for defending women in equality. Also, an important feminist writer and one of the most notable women writers, like I have mentioned earlier during the medieval times. Her father's name was Tommaso de Benvenuto da Pisano. He was a court astrologer. Christine de Pisano joined her father in France at a young age. Her father noticed the potential of knowledge Christine de Pisson had. She studied many topics that she became mastered in Greek and Latin. Christine was very talented in literature, that she loved writing. At the age of 15, de Pisson, she married Etienne du Castel who was a member of the French court. Her husband was very supportive, just like her father in her interest of writing. They had three children together. Christine de Pisson was very devastated because her husband died in the year 1389. So after her husband's death, she twisted her writing as the way where she supported her family. She had to take care of her three children and also for her mother. Her father died in the year 1386, leaving behind some debt and ending the family's connections to the French monarchy. She had many opportunities that she was offered, just like to join the royal courts of England and Milan. But Pisan was committed to staying in France. With support from royals like Louis Swann and many others, Christine de Pisson wrote numerous works. She became famous for her poetry of love, which became the outcome after her husband's death, to whom she truly beloved. During this time, de Pisson is best remembered for her revolutionary works based on poetry, novels, history, short stories, and much more. Christine de Pisson wrote the book, The City of Ladies, for one reason, and that was to prove that women from 1400s were not as bad, bad as men at the time as they were. Because men were seeing hasty comments about women back then. When Pisan published The City of Ladies in the year of 1405, she was really bothered at a writer named Mathieu Aubourne, who was a French poet who had written that women were among the worst things God has ever created. This was the reason Christine de Pisan decided to write a book to show that women are just as equal like men are. So in the book of City of Ladies, it is about three women who have done amazing things throughout history. Christine de Pisson was up against a world where women were not seen and treated equally, just like men. This was a way for Christine to, to also express herself in many different ways. She showed the world that men and women are as good as one another through her writing. This is why Christine de Pisson had to write books about that women were not terrible, just like how men said. The Book of the City of Ladies is a historical woman book full of anger over the mistreatment of women went through. I can say that this also connects to our world today because as us as women are not seen equal like men, but as less from them. After Christine de Pisson, 
published multiple books and poems. She passed away in the year 1430. She was a talented author, not because of her great books, but because she was against inequality who spoke for all women.